Welcome to the Kingdom. I'm Chris, and this is Good Enough Gaming. Howdy folks and welcome back to the kingdom for this 1,000 subscriber celebration battle. We are going big today. 5,000 points per side and my opponent is none other than my daughter Allison who is back by popular demand. So she is going to be taking control of the Titan Legions. I will be playing the Prime Brothers. Uh, for our mission we rolled up Sabotage which means each of us has one objective, and the object is to hold on to and protect your objective while seizing and destroying the others. So, Allison, where did you put your objective? Over there. So she is going to be protecting that strange floating stone. And then the Prime Brothers, don't want everyone to get sick, are, apparently they, uh, they want to protect the dentist over here. So that's what we're going to be taking care of for our side. Um, we're not going to worry about secondary missions or anything since Allison is still relatively new. This is what, your third game? Yeah. Third or fourth game of this. So just the sheer number of models and units that she has to control is, is going to be enough for her. So we're not going to worry about secondary missions. We're not going to worry about battlefield condition. The only special rule we might use is Fog of War, where at the end of our fourth turn... We'll roll a dice to see if we go on to a fifth turn and a sixth turn and a seventh turn. But other than that, we are just going to play straight up 5,000 points per side. Uh, we got the mission here. Let's go over the armies and then we'll come back and do deployment. All right, here we have 5,000 points of Titan Lords. We decided to keep it pretty simple so that Allison doesn't have too many different data sheets to worry about or remember. So there's only a total, as you can see, of six models, and then the two ones up front here, the little ones are in two pairs. So technically she only has four data cards to keep track of. So we got the big boy at the very, very back here. He is our King Heavy Titan. He has the Plasma Battle Cannon, the Titan Volcano Cannon, and although he isn't really modeled with them, uh, he also has shoulder missiles and a twin hull fuser, but he is, he's, he's kind of beefy there. Next to him, we have another King Heavy Titan, but with a slightly different loadout. It's got the Titan Triple flavor, Flamer on the one side there, the twin hull fusers, then the harpoon cannon, and then up top, it's also got cannons and missile launchers. So most of these are pretty stock. Uh, they're pretty expensive as they are. This big boy over here is almost 1,500 points just by himself. Down in front, on the left here, we have two Yeoman Mini Titans, each equipped with two Hell Auto Cannons and a machine gun on the carapace. And then next to him, we have two Pilgrim Mini Titans, each with a Fusion Blaster and a Mini Titan Chainsaw. Nothing up top, but that comes out to exactly 5,000 points. Let's head over and see the Battle Brothers.
And here are 5,000 points of Prime Brothers that are going to try and take on the Titan Lords. So the leader of this army is going to be the Grave Prime Master there. He's going to be joining a unit of Guard Squad, so they're all going to have the shields and the swords. Um, I've also given him War Chance so that they have Furious. They do a little bit more damage on the turns that they charge in. Um, one of the Backbone Squads is going to be this 10-man squad of Blasters. Hopefully they uh, will be able to put out enough firepower to at least do some damage to some. You'll notice I've also brought a lot of vehicles. But uh, we got the Blaster Squad there. After them, the Eradication Squad in the back. That's uh, infantry, I'm sorry, vehicle killing heavy infantry there. Short range, but they can pack quite a bit of a punch. Most of everything I have in the, the army here is its stock. Uh, a few additions here or there, but I wanted to go for mass rather than uh, bring a few models because uh, Allison's got... She, she's got uh, quality, so I need to bring quantity here. Um, after the Eradication Squad, we have another squad of Heavy Prime Brothers. Mostly they're going to be trying to hold objectives because they can take a little bit more punishment before they're removed. Um, we have an Aggro Squad over here to, again, probably end up holding objectives, but if they can get close enough to do some punching, those fists can actually cause quite a bit of damage. Then a Hover Squad that can provide actually some surprisingly good fire support and they don't even need to see to be able to shoot so they may just sit back tucked into a building and provide fire support there and then we've got all of the vehicles so we have the transport tank over here which is most likely going to be carrying the guard squad and maybe even the aggro squad inside it depending on the capacity then next to that we have an attack speeder kitted out with fusion guns um, anti vehicle missiles, all that kind of goodness there. Then we have an attack walker. I've equipped him with a... we're, we're going to proxy things a little bit here. So we're going to say that the, the quad cannon he has over there is actually a twin laser cannon, and then the blue gun he's got on his other arm, that is going to be a, uh, a missile array, just so he has some more anti-vehicle firepower as well. And then over here we have a heavy anti-grab destroyer tank. So that thing can take quite a bit of punishment. It can actually deal out quite a bit as well. So a little mix here. Not quite as elite as the army I'm going against, but we'll see if 5,000 points of Prime Brothers can take on 5,000 points of Titan Lords. All right, so now let's take a look and see where everything got placed. Allison, do you have any commentary or of why you put things where you put them? I put those there because you said they're up close. No, those so are up close. Just, I don't know if I should tell you my battle strategy, but... Okay, well then just identify the units. I put them there for a specific reason. Okay, <laughs> okay. so there's a tactic. Then in the middle you have the big boy. I have a feeling he's going to fall over, but he's also there for a specific reason. I mean, he's really purdy, but when I built him, I I never built a, uh, a Warhound Titan, and I didn't do the legs quite right, so he's very, very top-heavy and very unstable. Built a couple more Titans after him and fixed the problem, but unfortunately mine isn't fixed, so I gotta do something with that. So we gotta be careful. And the other king. Yeah, other king right here, so in the middle, and you've got kind of the pawns on the flanks, huh? Because those are long distance shooters, and that's my objective, so they're just gonna like... They're just gonna camp there. Yeah, the base and just like... Sweep camp and supporting as, fire. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. Let's take a look at uh, how the Prime Brothers have deployed. Alright, for the Prime Brothers, Got a bit of egg on my face here. My goal was to put this squad in the transport, but the transport only holds 11, and each of those guys counts as three. So I couldn't actually put them all in one. So they're going to be uh, huffing it on foot. So I at least put them behind a building so they got some protection. And we'll see if they can make it to the across the board before they get completely obliterated. Next we have the heavy destroyer tank squaring off against the two biggest titans. The other destroyer tank with the transport carrying up the other side. We've got the walker and the plasma blasters in the middle. Then, guarding the dentist over there, we've got one squad of um, the uh, heavy prime brothers will be laying down supporting fire and holding the objective. And then the aggro squad over there as kind of a additional support if needed, so they can either move forward to challenge the titans who are going to be crossing the street over here, or they can stay back and offer supporting fire, but they're kind of a rapid response team. Inside the Transport, I put the Eradicator Squad, because it was the one squad I want to protect until it can pop out and do some heavy shooting. And then the Land Speeder is in ambush. So right now it's flying high in the sky until it's radioed for 
and then it will come screaming down somewhere on the board to offer fire support. Might be foolish not starting the game with all of my firepower on the board at once, but we shall see. The Titans won the roll-off for deployment, which means they get the first activation. And away we go. All right, well, we're already starting off with a bang. So Allison has advanced her Pilgrim Knight up his few six inches, but that has put him within range of the aggro squad. And this thing, what would you say the stats were? One hit AP? Six. Oh, wait, no. AP four. Deadly, Deadly six. six. So if I fail to save, those guys are just, one of them is just gone. All right, what's the quality? That's four. That's a four. That's going to hit. You yep. said the AP was four? Yeah. But that's a lot. All right, I need a six to save. No, that's a five. And one guy just poof in a red mist. It's just gone. All right, the key to fighting elite units like this is focus fire on the weak ones. <laughs> so I'm going to move my tank up for my first activation, the grab destroyer tank. And he's going to take a shot through the building to try and start scoring hits on uh, Allison's fire support on her objective. Now, only two of the guns I have are in range. First, we have my machine gun. You are going to get cover because of how much ruins and stuff I'm shooting through. But uh, I'll let you roll in the tray. I'll just get back here. So, machine gun hitting you on threes. That's terrible. These dice tend to hate me, and it looks like they're already doing that. So you have three saves and negative one, but the cover negates that. Wow. Oh, I see one. a one. So you take a single damage. Yeah, we'll mark it. But I have one more. The big cannon in front. Hitting you on a three. That's a six. Take another save at AP two. It's normally three, but the cover takes it to two. So now if you get a four. Uh-huh. Oh. Deadly six. Ouch, that's seven. Seven damage total. So we'll get you a marker dice. So you have some guns that can do big damage like that, but so do I. Ha ha. So I got over half, which means you need to take a morale test. That's a thing? That's a thing. I've done so much damage, there's a chance that uh, the pilot of that thing uh, decides to take a coffee break. So roll one dice, trying to get your quality. What's your quality? Three? Uh-huh. That's a two. Can I switch dice? Are you fearless? Oh, yeah, I'm fearless. So you can roll that again, and on a four plus, he's fine. Five. That's a five. So he started to run away, and then he said to himself, dude. Man up. Yeah, man up. Lock in. And uh, so he's okay. Allison has decided why on earth is she waiting to activate the big guy. Now, it took a little prompting. She was going to, like, keep activating these piddly ones. I'm like, get the piddly one did something. He did, but this guy can destroy an entire unit by himself. So, learning curve, but she got it. So what are you going to do with him? So he has a blast, which is range 30. So he's going to blast those. How ironic. He's going to shoot his plasma gun into the plasma gun, guys. Yeah. Well, Makes sense. They're yeah. kindred spirits. And then he's going to put his Titan Volcano Cannon, which has deadly three, into the vehicle. Transport tank. Okay. And then he's going to do his twin soldier shoulder missile. Which also has deadly three into the same... Into the tank as well. All right, so plasma blast gun into the unit of plasma blast guns. And then everything else into the transport tank. Yeah. All right, Change dice, too. Because uh, yeah, her, she, she's sucks. already fired her first set of dice and is now moving on to the next set. We'll see how many dice sets she goes through throughout the course of the game. Uh-huh. So okay. what's this that you're rolling? We're going to start with the blast. Okay. How many shots? Three. Hitting so on threes? Hitting on threes. Wait. That's that four. Ah, oh, so uh, public education at its yeah. finest. My word. Okay, two sixes and a one. So those two sixes will actually cause, uh, those two hits will cause six total hits. So I need to take six saves. What's the AP? Four. Cover makes it three. Okay, so you're hitting Prime Brothers five. usually okay. have a save of a two. So and they are, yep, they're two as well, so I'm hitting on, or saving on fives. 
That's a save. That's a save. But unfortunately, four. that's four dead guys. <laughs> Not enough to trigger morale, but that was almost half the squad. Shucks. All right. All right Roll up for your big guns. The Titan Volcano Cannon is three. There's three. I can count. Three shots? Wait, I'm hitting on... Same Freeze. thing. It's always the same, unless the gun has something that says you don't. Two hits. Two hits. At AP3. AP3, and I'm not going to say I get any cover, because you've got a pretty straight shot from the gun right to him. This is this is too low to block it. So again, I need fives to save. Two would be nice. Well, I got one. So one goes through. It's deadly three. Deadly three. Okay, so I've lost three damage on him. And then your missile. It's two hits. Two shots. Two shots. One. One hit. AP? AP three. Same thing again. Fives. No. That's, that's also, also deadly, deadly three. three. So six damage total. So not bad. You killed off four plasma gunners and did six damage to a tank. That's a third of its health already gone. But the good news is your big guy's done for the turn. So I got a bit of a breather, kind of. Over to the Prime Brothers. Prime Brothers, next move. The other tank is going to start rolling across the battlefield. It has managed to get within range of both of the big titans. So the two 18-inch guns are going to shoot at the really big one on the left. And then the two longer range that do a little bit more heavy hitting are going to go after that titan. Because that harpoon cannon is kind of frightening. So we're going to see if we can at least start stripping off a few wounds. So, here we go. First, twin heavy machine gun, six attacks, hitting you on threes. That was abysmal. Three at AP1, and that's on the harpoon one. Three threes. Got one? Stripped one wound off. Mm -hmm. Nothing huge, nothing to write home about. Um, let's do the other big one that's going into her six attacks. These are the ones that are gonna hurt. This is the, the laser talon. Six attacks, hitting on threes. Okay, I'll take that. That's five at AP3. You need fives? You saved one. Two. Two. So three more damage. Each? No. Well, one damage each. Total of three. Oh. It's, not, it's not deadly. Now, the two other attacks going into your big guy. Three shots from the proximity defense array. That sounds kind of odd. Two hits. AP1. Three. Yeah, your whole army's defense, too. One goes through. Yep. Strip the wound off. And then last of all, six attacks for my Gatling gun. Unfortunately, this is AP nothing. So you're going to save on twos. And that one's not going to work. So I hit you all the time. Six at AP nothing. So just no ones. Don't ever say that, though. Two. As soon as you say anything but a one, that's what you get. Do not tempt the dice gods ever. Okay, so that's one from the other one. So three total damage on your big guy, four total damage on your other big guy, the harpoon one. So that's not too bad. I'm semi-happy with that. How much toughness does uh, the, do the kings have? 30. 30. Okay, so yeah, I've stripped barely nothing off you. Okay, back over to the knights. After long and ponderous thought, what have you decided to do? I moved this king up so that it's 18 inches away from that. So I can pummel that with the cannon, the harpoon cannon, and the triple flamer. Okay. So that that can't take more damage off of those. Well, it's already gone, but... Well, uh, I know, but like, thinking ahead. And then all the 24 range stuff is going to go into that one. I'm going after my 12. tanks. It only has 12 left. Tanks okay. for the memories. Okay, it's three. On three. Two hits. Two hits. On AP1. Uh, but I am in cover, unless so, the flamer ignores it. This is reliable. That means you hit on twos, but you still rolled a one. Did I? Yep. Okay. So that's not going to do anything. Um, all right, I am in cover because you're shooting through the building here. Okay. So I get my regular so, save of two yeah. plus. So I'm okay. Okay. So okay. It happens to the best of us. Next one is the harpoon cannon. This one's going to hurt. If, if um, I if, can get it. We'll go ahead and miss it. That'd be cool. What do I hit on threes? That's a six, That's right? That's a six. Okay. AP of? Four. Strip to a three. 
So I need to save on a five. That's a two. That is deadly nine. Deadly nine. I think that is the worst damage I've seen in any weapon in the game. There could be more. I haven't looked at all the uh, army data sheets. Nine. So you have already stripped it to half health. Anything else shooting at it? Uh, no. So I need to take a quality check because it's at half. On a three, it's okay. Shaken, but not stirred. Go ahead and shoot at the other one. Um, we're gonna start with the top cannon. We'll get them in the frame here. Oh, there it is. and it misses, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Um, now the twin shoulder cannon. Cannon. It's two on three. Two hits. hits. AP. One. Okay, seven on threes. Both go through. Plus three, but that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. But one damage apiece takes me down to ten. Anything else going into it? Uh, nope. Alright, quality check on the other tank. That's a two. Four plus or it's stunned. It's a five, so they recover. Fearless pays off for the Prime Brothers. Alrighty, back over to the boys in gray. Okay. I've decided next we'll move forward the attack walker. I've got to move up all my heavy stuff first and keep my uh, my slightly squishier units at least out of the way until you've used all your activations. But the attack walker has moved up. It's not in 18 inches, but it's going to put everything else it has into that harpoon cannon. That thing is terrifying. One more shot and it'll take out the most powerful unit I got on the board. So that's got to change. So we're going to do the attack walker first. With its twin laser cannons, two attacks, hitting you on threes. Oh, I missed one. So that's one at AP three. Five. Good thing oh, I made it. Oh, darn, because that was a deadly three. Oh, very sad. Yeah, well, for me at least. Oh, yeah. All right, and then it's a missile array. Four shots. Three more. AP two. Oh, wait, wait, I'm reading the wrong one. No, it is AP2. Just one? Yeah. So that's one more damage. Okay, well, I thought I'd strip off a few more than one wound, but, uh, oh well. All right, I think you only have two more units to go, mm -hmm. and then I have free reign. Basically. So, we'll let you get to it. Okay, what's happening? I moved that one up. That one? The black and yellow one or the yellow and black one? The uh, black and yellow. Oh. Because he's going to try and finish off him because... Really? Yes. Okay. Because he, he got but hey, half hey, you know, it's good to have dreams. And I realized I made a mistake that they have times two of the auto cannons. Oh, you only shot one only of the shot guns. One. So instead of doing 12 shots, I only did six. Okay. So, live and learn. But, but I can change it with this one. So... In theory. We're going to start with the top machine gun. Okay. Which is Everything is going into the tank? Yeah. Okay. Which is three. That's all of them. That's all of them. AP. One. So that's negated. Up, so you get normal. Two plus. All go save. All go save. I use good or English. I was caught between all go through and all save, and I combined it. One. Yeah. Seven on AP two, so one okay. because of the cover. Yep. So threes. One go through. Two go through. The rest are saved. So you've dropped me down to seven. But yeah. but again, once you're below half, every time you take damage, you have to take another morale test. So on a three plus, that's a six. He stays in the fight, but he is down to seven. You're starting to see lots of smoke wafting out from the exhaust. And there are big gaping holes in the chassis. But the important thing is now it's my turn. All right, it is time. The Blaster Squad, unfortunately, since it's been dramatically reduced in number, isn't going to be quite as strong. But I've moved it up. It is now in range of the Harpoon Titan. We've got six shots coming in hot on a three. That's five hits at AP Quattro. Oh, you segregate your dice, do you? I need room. Jim Crow dice. Is that how we play in the kingdom? All right, go ahead. Ooh. Four. Go through. Four damage. Did that hurt? No, I'm only at nine out of 30. You're at a third damage? Oh, jeez. That's all right. 
chipping away, chipping away, chipping away now. Do you have any left? Yeah. Yes, you have one more. Yep. Gentleman over here. Let's see what he does. All right, for her last activation, your other pilgrim? Yes. Pilgrim is going to move forward and repeat the first one by shooting at these poor, innocent, helpless. That oh! Unfortunately, that's what we call a whiff. So, with all of the Titans having activated, it is now over to the Prime Brothers to do the rest of their moves and attacks. So, if I'll, we'll, we'll come back when there's any dice to roll. Some units are just going to be running up, so there won't be any shooting. Okay, so to summarize what's happened up to this point, the aggro squad is not just going to sit there and get shot at. If they're going to be blasted away, they're at least going to try and go out swinging. So, they have uh, rushed all the way up to grab cover here in the middle. Yes, they are in charge range, but it'll all come down to, does Allison want to waste an entire activation to kill those two guys? But if she doesn't, then I'm going to charge her. So, something to think about. Then, uh, next, moving over here, I realized I made a slight error. Fortunately, it hadn't affected anything in the game yet. These squads of heavy Prime Brothers are only three per unit, not five. So I simply removed two more that were on the bottom floor, and we're back to the correct amount. They are 24 inches from that Knight on the right, so we're going to shoot at him. Hitting on threes, nine shots. Here we go. That's terrible. Alright, five saves. Minus one. one. Only one goes through. Weak, weak sauce. Weak sauce, they have 12 toughness. That's what I'm saying. My guy's shooting was weak oh. sauce. It was weak, weak sauce. How do you like that down? It was water. It's watered down weak sauce. weak sauce. Yeah, I can talk gooder. All right. Um, talk faster. Moving as we go across here. Everything is gone. Everything is gone. Everything is gone. Except for these guys. So they're going to sneak up down this back alleyway, taking cover behind this building from the multitude of shots coming through. Just the only thing out. left are these guys. Now, they don't need line of sight to shoot, but unfortunately... They're too far away from everything. So I'm going to move them up into some appropriate range to shoot something, and then we'll shoot something. All right, so they had to jump forward their full move to get within range of that yeoman back there. Now, the good news is they don't need line of sight. Their suppressor cannons can fire indirect. The bad news is because I moved their minus one to hit. So I'm going to be hitting you on fours. What? Oh, that's terrible. That is awful. You only got two hits. Yeah. Yeah, these dice are starting to rebel. Okay, so that is two hits at AP2. So they're pretty powerful. Oh, and they both wound. Yay. All right, not bad. So the only other unit I have left are the eradicators inside the transport. I'm going to get them out. They're going to run forward and they're going to shoot at the big guy. All right, so I did give them the guns with the extra range. They didn't have to get out very far at all, but rather than shoot at the big guy, we're going to keep going after that one, that someone's, harpoon. Someone's scared of my harpoon. Oh, yeah, nine, nine, nine. Now, the, the bad news is I thought these guys got two shots apiece. They only get one. It's a good shot, but they only get one. So Is it deadly? Yes. So hitting you on threes. That's three hits. AP four. Deadly three. Any sixes? One. You did get a six, huh? That's six damage. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, jeez. We're trying to keep this faceless, but she's making, like, I don't care about you or your army faces. Okay, right I need now. another dice. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you losing enough damage that you need two dice to mark it? That brings us to the end of turn one. Uh, no units were harmed in the making of this turn. Actually, a lot of units were harmed. Yeah, nobody, was nobody was destroyed. Everyone kind of took a little bit of a beating. But in this next turn, all of our mid and short range guns are finally going to come into play. And you're flying one that's just kind of like hovering. Well, I might bring it in. I might not. But the point is there's more shots that are going to come through in turn two. So I have a feeling a lot of stuff is going to be dying, and I have a sneaking suspicion a lot of it's going to be on my side. So we will be back with first night activation on turn two.
So here we are at the start of turn two. The only um, new unit that's been brought on is I have brought on my attack speeder here, placed it in the corner of this building where it should be safe from most firepower unless Allison wants to go out of her way to move stuff specifically to shoot at it, but then she's sacrificing uh, taking on those two tanks, which can still pack quite a wallop. So she's got a lot to think about, but a lot of my major vehicles are suffering serious damage. So I think this turn we're going to see a lot of stuff on the Battle Brothers side dying. The only trick is can the Battle Brothers inflict equal casualties on the Titans? Or will Allison be able to get enough of an advantage during this turn that the Battle Brothers simply won't be able to put out enough firepower to bring down her models? So she gets the first activation. So once she decides, we'll come back and roll dice. Okay, after much deliberation. Allison has finally decided to first activate this King Titan and uh, she's going for a full spread. So what's happening here? I moved it up so that it's in range of everything. The the Titan Triple Flamer uh -huh. is going into them. Yeah, I knew it was a risk moving them out. I was the hoping you would activate something else and then I'd be able to shuffle them into cover. Yeah, I was they're, hoping not. They're going to get a full blast in the face. They basically won't be used. The twin hole fuser is going into them. So that's the only thing in range. Yeah. Okay. The harpoon is going into that guy. Yeah, and it only needs. To, I mean, if it, it only hits needs to it. It hit once, but if I miss. Right, but it's uh, a powerful cannon. And then the twin shoulder cannons are going into that. All right, just to make sure. And the top cannons going into them. Them as well. All right. So if all goes well, you you have the potential to wipe three entire units off the board in this round of shooting. Well. Okay. Harpoon cannon. Okay, so it's just one at three. Oh no! no! That is so sad. Well, do the blast cannons. You declared them, so maybe you'll strip a few more wounds off. You said the shoulder cannons were going into them. Yeah, okay. That's why we can't have nice things. Okay, I need threes. One. Man. Yeah, you need this to warm these dice up a little bit. What's the AP on that? One. One? Oh, you have covered. I have covered. Still two plus. Ha! <laughs> I feel like... Okay, we're not rolling here anymore. That area is off roll limits. That's a dead zone. That's a dead zone. We'll roll over here. All right, so good for me, bad for you. My tank will last. Next. We'll do the, the Far Squad. Lord Far Squad? Yeah. Oh. Okay, so that's three, but they have reliable, so it's two plus. Hits on twos, yeah. That's all three, and that's blast three. Yeah. So that's a total of nine hits at AP. Uh, one. And you have no cover. No cover. So these are uh, saving on threes. So there's one, there's two, two three. three dead guys. So the entire back rank. But now you have to take them around, don't you? I sure do. Anything else going into those guys, though? It was just the... Yeah. Yeah? Well, then go ahead and roll that, because there's a chance I might not need to roll uh, morale, because they'll be dead. So I'm doing the top cannon. It's only one. We're hitting on threes. But it's a blast. It's a blast. There's three more. If I don't save at least one of these, the squad's gone. Well, nope. I fail one. So, you have managed to whittle them down from six to two. They are effectively neutered. You need to take a morale test there. I don't have to do anything. Actually, I do. Okay. Here we go. Now let's move these so we know when you fail. Oh, man, that was hard. No! Oh! Should we zoom in on that? Fearless. You are fearless. fearless. On a four plus. And that's a five. They're alive. But they don't thrive. Oh, golly, I'm gonna stop while I'm behind now. Okay, over to the eradicators. Okay, this is deadly three, so one goes through. One goes through. AP of? Four. Four. No cover, so needing a six. No, that is three. one guy dead, just. Only one? Well, each one has three health. Okay. Yeah. No, that's the best that could happen. Otherwise, it would have been one wound off of one of those guys. So that's good. But they're not under half, so I don't have to roll. So okay. that failed. 
so unbelievably miserably. No, it didn't fail unbelievably miserably. I was hoping you to wipe You effectively wiped them out and reduced them by a third. They're not going to do anything. That thing is going to take out those. Well, it, it, yeah, absolutely, because I, I'm surprised I get to use it this round. But that's Sad why it's a emoji. dice game. Sad face emoji. Sad face emoji. I can actually put one of those up on here yes, if you would please. like. Okay. You got it. There it is. All right, over to the Battle Brothers. And, yeah, we're probably going to move this tank here before she has another crack at taking out my best long-range firepower. So, I'll move it, and we'll come back. All right, the tank in uh, its last activation before it probably gets blown up by something else. Crashes through the ruins and comes within range to put absolutely everything it's got into that front yeoman. No, you're in the middle of the street. Here we go. Let's start with the most important one, because that's the one that's most important. We will shoot, first of all, with heavy laser cannon. One attack, hitting on a three. No! That's a five. You got to save at AP three. Two. That's deadly six. Deadly six? Mm -hmm. That's why you wanted to kill that tank. It's my, my riposte. Okay, so now that the big one's out of the way, let's just go down the list here. So, eight dice from the heavy Gatling gun, hitting on threes. So you have two, four, five saves at AP, nothing. AP, nothing. They're all good. Yeah. I figured. Uh, now, the twin heavy machine gun, six attacks. These are at AP one. That's five more. Saving on threes. Go. Got Only one. one. Is that one more health? There's one more. And then three missile shots. Oh, that's not good. Only one hit at AP1. We said we weren't rolling in this area. Well, it seemed to have done pretty well for you, though, hasn't it? I mean, he's yeah. still alive, isn't he? I take a morale test. You do need to take a morale test, and don't talk with your mouth full. Crabs a funyun in and then try to go, 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 go. Oh, you should have rolled it. Is it I have fearless? Fear this. Okay. It's okay. Roll again. Four plus. Where should I roll it this That's time? up to you. No! What happens? He's stunned. He's stunned. So that means when you activate him, all he can do is stand up. That's it. So I have effectively negated that round of shooting. Over to the Titans to see what they will answer with. The ground shakes as the mighty titan starts walking forward in order to do what? He's going to put his plasma battle cannon into the, into the objective holders okay. and try and weaken them so that I can take that. Mm -hmm. And then You know, you shouldn't take things that don't belong to you and that objective does not belong to you. Okay, well that objective doesn't belong to you. So it, it will soon. Being, <clears throat> and then everything else is going to go into this to try and kill it. Couldn't, get, couldn't get the one tank, so we're going to try for another one. Yeah, we are. Okay. You start rolling dice. Two hits. Each one's this last three. AP4. AP4! You cover, so three. So I got this saving on threes. Oh, not threes. Saving on uh, fives. Ooh. I saved three of them. That's one dead guy, though. So we'll say... Gentleman up here went squish. Still two, though. Don't have to take morale. Everything else now is going into the tank. Mm -hmm. Do your worst. Start with Twin Hulk user. Uh -oh. Both hit. That's AP4. Needing sixes. Didn't get either. That's deadly three for both. So that takes me down to four. Good thing those guys got out, because I think this tank is not long for this world. Um, then... <clears throat> The Titan Volcano Cannon. Oh, two. No, two. That's at AP3. So AP3. You're hitting on fives. Fives, but it's deadly three? Yeah. So I gotta save at least one of these. Yep. And I do! Both or? Just one. Okay. So that strips him down to, to one, to one wound health. left. I have two. And one more. You do? Yes, my oh, twin shoulder missile. That's sad. That's one. One hit, AP. That's three. A five or he's dead. Oh. No. Why? And that's deadly three. Why you gotta do me wrong like that? 
Oh, the massive explosion, the turret goes shooting skyward, and this tank is exploded. So sad. It was a lovely tank. Okay, there's a tank-shaped hole in all of us. So, was that more effective than your last round of shooting? Yes. Yeah, because that guy doesn't get to shoot, and he was some of my anti-vehicle firepower. Okay, so, I've got to make some decisions and be very careful what I do here. But the Battle Brothers shall respond shortly. To try and act as a bit of a speed bump, the aggro squad that was taking cover in that crater has decided to charge forward and engage the Pilgrim Titan. I don't think I can kill it, but at least I can maybe hold it in place, and that one has further to go before it can get all the way over here. So, two guys are left there. Each one gets four attacks at AP4. Yeah, they're pretty good. So, hitting you on threes. So, it looks like we have all but one are failing. Or one, all but one hit. Eleven? No, you have seven oh. saves to make it AP4, milady. You wish. Two. You saved two. Three. 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 That's one. Yeah, it is. So that's, that's only four. not bad. That's only four damage. That's that's pretty good given what I just hit you with. Now, would you like to hit back? I can. Yes, you can. Yes, I would like to. Okay, go ahead. Goody! Retaliation time. I'm going to use stomp. I get four attacks. Okay. You missed with two. I missed two, yes. Yep. It's AP1. AP one. All right, saving on a three. Oh, fail one. One guy takes a wound. And then I have the mini Titan chainsaw. How many attacks does this get? Two. Oh, but this could kill him. And they both hit. Okay. AP two. Fours. Save them both. That was a deadly three. Yeah, I know. Good thing too. Okay, so what happened is I lost, or you lost combat because I did four wounds to you and you only did one to me. You must take a morale test. Man up and Well, this fighting. is where we'll see if they man up or robot up. What do I, okay, we're yeah, good. it's fine. So I failed to destroy you, so I back you, up an inch. one inch. And it is over to your activation. All right, what happened over here? I moved the Pilgrim Mini Titan so that he's within 24 inches so he could use his fusion blaster, which is at least six. You know, it's not nice to pick on people smaller than you. All right, how many okay. shots? Uh, one. Just one? But it's a good one, isn't it? Yeah, deadly six. Oh, jeez. That's a hit. Five. AP? Four. Your Cover makes it a three? Fives. Fives? No. That is That is six. another guy exploded. I need to do morale test. I do. Three. No. Fearless? Four. No! no! They are now stunned, which means if you got a guy over there, you would then control that objective. I still hold it until you get someone over there, but I no longer have something holding it, which means I've got to make some big decisions here. Okay. In an attempt to put equal pressure on Allison's objective, I've had my land speeder, or what's it called? Yeah, my attack speeder, zoom up to the building. Um, it's going to have to shoot some of its weapons into the stun guy because otherwise nothing is in range. So there will be some fusion guns going into the guy lying down there, and then everything else trying to pummel the yellow one still standing in hopes of... I don't know, maybe forcing morale. I don't think I can kill you, but um, hope springs eternal. So, two attacks. Fusion Destroyer at the guy laying on the ground. Hitting you on threes. Two hits. AP. At AP four. I saved one. Deadly three. He has one health left. Nine. Yeah. Oh, I didn't get him. And there's no sense taking a morale test. You automatically fail and stay laying down. Okay, well, one health left. Then, the uh, Fury Missile, one attack at the guy at the back there, hitting on a three. That's a hit, AP2. Deadly three. And then while you're sorting that out, two more attacks with the uh, Rocket Pod at the back, hitting on threes. Two hits, AP2. One damage for the one that went through. So is he at half? They're both at one. They both have one wound left? All right, let's see your, your morale test for your guy back there. Oh, we're good. He's good. He's super good. So wisely deciding before this guy goes the way of all the earth uh, to shoot down at some of my other anti-vehicle stuff, which you have a good chance of wiping out. And this, this is what, like 12 shots just from your 
Because I have two of them. Arm cannons? We messed up earlier in the game because we didn't do two. We did. Only one. Okay, so this is the first auto cannon. Huh. That's five. That is five on AP2. AP2, so. huh? Yeah. Okay. Uh, fours. One, two, three. Killed one. Okay, we're going to do that same thing. Rinse and repeat. Yep, two, four, six. How many this time? Uh, five. Five again. Okay, once again, needing fours. One. Just one this time. Just one? Okay. Just one. I still have my top machine gun. Yep. So, I have three attacks. Two. You have to save both of them. But it's AP1? AP1. I feel confident. Threes. Yeah, I saved them both. Dang it. So, I Dang mean, it. you killed one, though. Oh, I now have to take morale. Oh, you do. There's a chance if it goes like those other guys. Three. Ooh, fearless. Fails. Fearless. Okay. Oh. Back to the Prime Brothers. All right, so my left flank is starting to crumble a little bit. There's not a whole lot of support. So I've decided to start shifting over my attack walker. So that's as far as he can go. He's got one 18-inch gun he's going to put into the Titan. It's not going to do a whole lot, but I just don't want to waste it. And everything else he has is going to shoot down through the trees there at the advancing Pilgrim Titan. It's probably not going to kill it, but if I can start stripping some wounds off of it, that will be a good thing. So, first of all, one attack blast on your, uh, your big guy. This is kind of a token nothing. One hit. AP nothing. Oh! That is so... Just one. Just one. Yeah, nothing major, but I think... Wow, I've only lost four health. I think the moral victory was I think, worth yeah. a lot more right there. Okay, two attacks with the twin laser cannon. This is deadly three. This could actually hurt your guy over here. On threes. Two hits. You knocked over the dentist chair. I did knock over the dentist. That's okay. He's still in practice. Uh, AP three. Uh, but two. you're in two because you're going. Wait, how many? Two. So fours. Both. Poo. Those are what deadly three. <clears throat> Those were deadly three. Hey. And then my Focus. missile array, or you know the big blue shiny gun there. Three more at AP two minus one. So more fours. Just one. So I, I stripped a little paint off him and a little paint off him. That was not as effective as I'd hoped it would be. Back over to the Titans who only have one guy left. All right, my, my tactic kind of worked. She can't move that last Titan up at all. She doesn't want to charge in because he's already exhausted. So they're probably going to get blown away, but I'm still keeping you back from my objective. So you're going to shoot. One yep. shot? Yep. Wow. That's it. Mwah. Okay. Mwah. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. And that was deadly six, too. So. Oh, yeah. That would have really, really hurt. Well, all right, then. So let's see what the Battle Bros are going to do, because you only have one unit left to activate, and he's kind of out of commission. So I have free reign. Let's see what I can do. All right. So let's bring you up to speed here. Um, the Eradicator guy, who all that was left, dashed up behind that tank trap. Put a shot into the Titan and stripped off three wounds. The Titan then uh, passed morale. Yeah, we noticed over here we forgot to take into account fear in that melee, but it would not have mattered because I did four wounds, she did one, and that Titan only has fear too, so I still would have won combat and nothing else would have changed. So we did remember, unfortunately, we don't have to try and go back and fix anything. Um, after the Eradicator moved and shot, Allison unstunned her guy over here, but that put the turn back in my hands. The blasters are moving up. They've got two shots. They're going to try and strip off that last wound. You will get cover, though, because we're doing like a template thing here, so I'm shooting through all that. So hitting you on threes. Two hits. AP four, down to three. And there it is. So he's gone. So, yep, in a screech of buckling and twisting metal, one of the yeomen goes, Asplod. So, only a few other almost housekeeping things here. Uh, I had the unit back here that recovered and is now holding on to that objective. The um, knights back here, or the guards, I should say, continue to run down the alleyway and are now within striking distance and sight of the objective in that last Titan. 
And then the hover squad here, I had to move up again to get them in range. But they don't need line of sight, and now they're within range of that last Titan with just one wound. Unfortunately, they're minus one to hit because I moved. So hitting you on fours. Five at minus two. But you're in cover. Oh no, they ignore cover. Five at minus two. Save, save, save. Oh, there's the one. There's the one. That would have been impressive if I could have saved all of them. That would have been super impressive if you would have saved them all. all so right, that one's go. gone. And now the objective is open if the Prime Brothers can take it. But as always, the turn starts with the Night Titans going first. So onward to turn three. So here we are at the top of turn three. We've done a little bit of analysis. The Titans are on the back foot, but it is still possible uh, because with the objective here now open, I have three units that all they have to do is basically swarm that objective. But Allison has her two most powerful units within range of anything that I put over there. So her whole focus this turn is to simply kill the tank, the speeder, and the unit of guard there because if she can kill or stun them then I can't hold that objective and she's still in the game but if by the end of this turn she hasn't managed to do that I'll get something on that objective and according to the mission rules I'll instantly destroy it and claim the victory for sabotage so it is Allison's first move let's see what she wants to do there has been much debate discussion and deliberation but we think we figured out the best use of uh, of weaponry here unfortunately the uh, guard squad was just half, half an inch out of range of her um, triple flamer, which would have been the best thing to use on them. But uh, she still has enough firepower to potentially take out the tank and the speeder, which would m give me a lot of problems. So let's start at the top and head on down. Triple flamer is going into the land speeder, or the attack speeder. Okay, this is reliable, so it's on twos. It's on twos. So all That's hit. three. AP one. Uh, no cover. Threes. Two fail. Okay, the twin hole fuser is going into Going that. into the tank. It's two. Hitting on threes. One. One hits. AP four. No cover. That's a fail. That's a deadly three, too. So he's down to three wounds left. The shoulder cannons, twin shoulder cannon are going into them. Okay. It's two. Both hit. And each of those is blast three? Yes, AP one. So that's six saves. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Those both miss. No. They have shields. Shields are oh. minus one to hit. Well, that's you... the benefit that it gives. I'm sorry. Bummer. Okay, the harpoon cannon. This is the biggie. Goes into that up there. That's a two. I don't think that's Do you know what's all. really weird? The same thing happens in 40k with that... That weapon is meant to destroy vehicles in a single it shot, sucks. and it always misses. It's unbelievable how that works. That's so mean. Okay. That is super mean. Well, top cannon's going into them, so I need a four, right? Yes. That's there it four. is. Was that a blast? AP one, blast three. All right. Failed twice. So one guy is stripped down to one wound. Wow, that so, sucked. Yeah, Actually. didn't quite go as well as you had hoped. That is, that is unfortunate. All right, major development here. We forgot to roll for the morale. And after rolling for this guy, I rolled a two or a one, and then fearless rolled a three, which means He's my stunned. big tank is stunned. So I've turned the turret away to show that he is negated. So Allison now only has two things to worry about. So while you didn't destroy him, you still managed to accomplish what you needed to. So she is still in the game. 
I gotta respond somehow. After doing a little bit of number crunching, where I'm gonna make some decisions which I know are not the most tactical, but they're gonna be a little more narrative. Um, the only way that Allison doesn't basically have to concede right now is if I intentionally move the speeder and the guard up before she activates her big guy over here because that's the only way that his movement will put him in range of both of them. If I just wait and don't activate those two units until she's done her whole army, I win. And I mean, that's, if this was a tournament, that's a perfectly effective way to win, but that's not fun. Plus, as she was telling me, at the start of every game, her whole goal is just to kill everything. She doesn't think of objectives. I forget that you have to like hold the objective. Fancy that, teenagers bent on destruction? That's crazy. I mean, pfft. So, I'm going to give her this slight chance. It's not throwing the game by any chance, uh, by any means, but it is giving her another opportunity to perhaps clinch the victory. So, I'm moving up the attack speeder, so it is holding that objective, unless she can blow it up, and I'm going to put all my firepower into that guy, potentially, between everything I've got, I might be able to bring that knight down. It's got 18 health, so... Well, I've got a lot of bullets. So... Well, it's got 12 health left. Two attacks, hitting you on threes. Wow, that's sad. That is very sad. Those were deadlies. Okay, Ooh. two attacks. Hitting on threes again. Two. These are AP two. Save both. And then one attack. This is a deadly. That didn't work either. Okay, so my dice have decided they're going to try and help out too. Okay, well that's it for that. Wow. You don't want to activate him yet. No. So go ahead and activate one of those. What do you want to do? I'm going to shoot that. The one in the back? Yeah, I believe it's 24. Oh, yeah, well, no, we're good. Okay, because it's 24 inches. But move forward oh. to threaten the objective. All right, you're going to finish off that last guy in there? Hopefully. And we also realized uh, she has been missing the rule. These guys are relentless, but they have to stand still, don't they? We haven't missed that much because she's been moving. Okay. Here One. you go. Go. Okay, so we're all sucking now with our dice rolls. It comes down to this. So I've given her a chance to try and stay in the game here. It's going to take some fancy dice rolls, though. So the Titan has moved up as much as he can and still shoot. He's got almost everything in range of here. His 12-inch cannon, unfortunately, is only going to be able to hit the Eradicator over there. But since that's not pertinent to the game itself, we'll focus on here first. So in a bit of a twist, she's going to shoot the anti-infantry gun at the cruiser, the attack speeder, to try and force a morale test, and then put everything into that squad here to try and destroy it. We were looking at different options, where should we put the guns, and it was either try and force a morale fail of both of them, which is highly unlikely, or force it on one, kill those guys, and then force the morale on the other one. So, I think we should start with that because... <coughs> Just to make you feel good that you kill something first. Okay, yeah. so twin hull fusers into the eradicator. Both hit. Both hit. That's AP4. Four. So needing sixes. Nope. So that eradicator is totally dead. Yay. Okay. Now what do you want to do first over here? I'd say go into the infantry because you're going to do the most damage to that. Okay. Wait, so which one does this? Well, you're going to shoot deadly. both the volcano cannon and the shoulders. Okay. We'll and they have the right. same profiles. So just do five attacks total. Okay, there's five. So this is the big gun, the, the twin guns there, and the shoulder cannons. Uh oh. That's three. Three, but that's that's what you need. At AP three. Uh yes. <laughs> Fail two, deadly three. So that kills two of them. That's not enough for a morale test. Yes, it is. Oh, half. One of them's that. Well, that doesn't matter. Oh, because that guy. But that's half. Would Deadly 3 make that wound carry over? No. It's just one. It just finishes the two wounds that are left, and then oh. the next guy is okay. totally dead. So let's shoot the plasma at this, and then I got some morale to check here. Oh, two. Two? AP4. Four. Four. So six. Nope. Two damage. Takes it down to a five. Uh, damage of nine. You needed to do that third. Yep. So, so you win. that's unfortunately it because the the knight or the the guard they fail 
fearless. They pass they fearless. Pass. So unfortunately, both of them, despite getting the full attack of a King Titan, uh, are going to hold. And there's no way that Allison can get anything else here to shoot. So the Knights, the Battle Brothers, have been able to secure the enemy objective. And also, Allison would not be able to get over to my objective by this turn and cause, like, mutually assured destruction. So, the Battle Brothers have carried the day, although it, I would say it almost qualifies as a Pyrrhic victory. They have taken quite a beating. Whereas, how many health does the big guy still have? 26. 26. So, he's almost untouched. She has 12 left. 12 left. He's got 9 left. No, I can't do math. That's okay. The point is, most of your guys are still pretty he's, good. He's got 11 left of 12. So. so it was a costly victory, but the Battle Brothers have come off conqueror. All right, everyone. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, looks like the, uh, the Battle Brothers have been able to hold off this assault of the knights. It turns out that they were good enough.